How's that? Really? <laughs> what are we doing now? <laughs> uh, just hanging out in San Francisco. Uh, yeah, yeah. Spider Man's usually in New York, but we'll try San Francisco. Okay, okay. Um, I don't. Oh man, that, that's funny. That's funny. Ah, uh, no, I'm just messing. Uh, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. There you go. There's the. Unfortunately, that's the real thing. Yeah. Hey, that it's a beautiful thing. How's my mic sound? I'm trying something clean. totally different. Clean, clean. Good, good. Good. I'm, I'm yep. waiting for somebody to pop up. Gotcha. Oh, I don't know where where Derek. where she's at. Okay. Derek's but trying to get into how you it. doing, man? Let's see if we get this thing going. Yeah. Um. Anyway. There What's good with you, man? Oh, uh, man. I'm going back tomorrow. I had 15 beautiful days off, and I got to go back tomorrow. 15 so. beautiful days? Yes. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, now, the crazy thing is, for the first time and since a kid uh, since a kid has been born, uh, what, first kid uh, is coming up on 12 years old, I have the whole house to myself because they stayed down for a few extra days, and so I got the whole place it's never been this quiet in years. It must be nice. It must be yeah. nice. Yeah, it is. It is. I miss them, but uh, it's nice to just not have anybody in. Or, like, anytime you try and do something, like, work-wise, computer, kids are always running by the screen. Uh, hey, yo, I'm trying to do something. Be quiet, you know. There's no no inter no interruptions right here, so we're good. Okay. All right. So let's get to the nitty-gritty, my mans. I have a friend that's going to uh, join in a second, but you know I like to I like to talk this shit. And uh, you've been you've been around for a minute. Yep, <laughs> you've been around yep. for a minute. Yep, I, um, I would say you could say you could say definitely a little bit. Yep. So so what do you do? Just so we we can share this with people. What do uh, you do? I've been, a, I've been a city letter carrier for eighteen years. Eighteen years. Yep. That means you're on the old pay scale. <laughs> yeah table one table one. Oh, uh, so you're not one of those that are crying about the new pay scale huh no nah, i you know be nice to see everything equalized to get these guys uh you know what what i believe they deserve um it's definitely very strange to still be working at two tier but you know we'll see what's going to happen whenever the heck we find out about this contract okay um let's see who we got going on here there she is it's a lovely lady. We gonna mix it up a little bit. How you doing there, young lady? Okay. Yes. Yes. How you doing? Ann? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to see you. This nice. is um, your chooch. <laughs> we, uh -huh. we keeping real names out of this. Yep. We refer to chooches in good ways and bad ways uh, where I'm from, but. I I accidentally had my my real name the first time. I had to fix it. <laughs> I saw that pop up. I was like, uh, oh. yeah. but that's all right. That's all right. So you saw the backstory to uh Sheba, right? Chooch, talking yeah. to you. Yeah. You saw yeah, you I, saw the backstory, right? Uh yeah, I yes, I did. I did. Um sorry, it just said my internet connection was a little unstable, but I think I'm good now. So yeah. I, uh, in terms of um, what, what was the last thing you said? I apologize. <laughs> I said you saw the backstory to what oh. she had going on, right? Yes, 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 yes. I did see the first your first uh, yeah video you put out. Yes, I did. Okay, so, so this is what we were just talking before you joined the room about what a uh, the two different tables of carriers are going through, and. Um, mm -hmm. You're you're one of those that are in the the new uh, yeah. table. He he's old school. He's he's one of my people. So we ain't got no. We we think you lazy. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. We, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got work for what we oh, didn't know. Uh, yeah. But 
I'm in the yeah. middle of this because I, I don't carry mail. I've never touched a piece of mail to deliver. So I'm just kind of the outsider here. We were going to have a few more people join. I might get one more in there. But um, so the things that she's going through right now is um, it's pretty brutal. You know, when you started, though, how long did it take for you to be career? Uh, I made regular in one year. I was very lucky at that time. Uh, yeah, I know. Here come, here come. See the reaction, Shiba? See this reaction? That's that. That says it all right there. Because uh, when I got in my station, you're talking guys telling me five, six years as a PTF before they ever saw regular. Uh, I just happened to come in at a time where a gentleman who had carried for about 40 years, Vietnam vet, had been ready to retire and Boom, that opened up the door for me to reg regular in one year. So you could say my my voyage, uh, you know, has been, uh, you know, I got my stories to tell on the on the ugly side. But at the same time, um, you know, yeah, in terms of making, making regular and getting to, you know, getting to the max pay scale, 12, you know, 12 and a half years. And then now I've just passed 18 years. Okay. So, yeah. We lost you there. What'd you say? I think it's oh, it. That's your that's your raggedy that's your raggedy setup there, Sheba. <laughs> oh, is it? Do I need to put a? Uh, uh, I see you guys got the green screen. I don't know how you guys did that, but. I don't know. I don't know. No, this I'm I'm sitting in my studio. I don't know what yeah, you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and I'm I'm right behind. I got the I'm right. I'm sitting in on a yeah. mountain behind <laughs> with the Golden Gate Bridge behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Your nice setup. Uh, I I I really. I really want to remove this because I feel like it, it looks ridiculous, but at the same time, yeah, well, I guess it, I got the same setup as you behind me. Uh, Jay, Jay's always got the fancy stuff behind him. This is just this is just a looping video in the background. That's all this is. <laughs> I just happen to. Anyway, I'm learning. I'm learning. Wish yeah. I could show you guys what is going on here. Um, but here's the thing. She's gone through a lot just to try to fight to what where you're at and we haven't had a female part of our our chat group and i figured that this would be the time she's almost as vulgar as we are uh, after having a conversation with her. i was i was shocked don't let the looks fool you but i don't want to take nothing out of her mouth i want her to express what it is she want to talk about because he's been in 18 years and i think you're just hitting 18 years old right young lady no i'm 30 this year i'll be 30. Ooh, slow down Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, baby. I did the math today and I've been at the postal service in total of nine years often I've left and came back three times damn I was a roll carrier for two I was a CCA in my, uh, in my small town I was going to say my city but in my small town over about 30 minutes away from my hometown for about two years and then I transferred over to my hometown and delivered for two years resigned came back but I restarted every time that I moved so I would have been regular carrier like three times wow three times so I'm I'm excited I finally got my PTS uh paperwork in the mail so took two yeah. years excited Sheba. about it congratulations yeah you sent me that the other day um now that just means you're gonna be really broke <laughs> yeah um Yes, that's exactly what my supervisor said when he handed it to me. He was like, uh, congratulations. But see, I ended up falling on my five-day break in service. So my five-day break in service is right before I convert as a PTF. I mean, as a, um, as a, because uh, the, the route came up, someone retired. I got the route, but I get my break in service before they actually convert me. So I get my five days off. And he was like, how are you going to pay your bills? I'm like, I'm not irresponsible. I mean, I am, you know, broke, but I'm prepared to have those five days off. So, Well, you're clearly broke because the other guy from the Millionaire Morning Show said that you don't even have insurance. <laughs> yeah, I did forget to add that in there. That was my fault. No, it's just because you don't have insurance. That's let him tell it. I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let him tell it. I was just telling somebody that story the other day. So you're PTF now, or are you going to be converting to career? It's a little bit of both. Um, I mean, full-time career. 
our day break and service ended up coming right before the route goes up for bed. So the route goes up for bid on this Saturday, today, well, yesterday. And so I have to wait for it to actually be available for me. Nobody wants it. I already know that. So I have to wait a couple of weeks. But I ended up going PTF right before the route ends up going up. So it happened at the same time. There's a route open available for me. I was getting ready to convert anyways. And then my PTF came right at the same time as the route going up. For me to have if that makes sense does that make sense Jay, it does make, make sense? sense look at I'm look at mr mailman derek over there what's up my man jay you gotta turn it sideways you got nick you gotta turn your phone sideways hey. i know one second hey, I'm trying uh, to what's sound. his name again said, i'm trying to get set up here derek i just watched twisters not derek. good not great yeah, what's going on hi derek What's up, Derek? Hi, Sheila. How you doing? Been watching your content. I'm yeah, me too. You like, you, you put up great YouTube. stuff. Now we get to hey. look up your nose. <laughs> can you see me? Hold on a second. I'm trying to get this thing marked yet. Well, you we can... You're picking on my hands. Now you're picking on his nose. I'm. That's kind of my thing. All of you guys are actually workers. I'm not really a worker. All right. I'm, what's up? I stand around and do nothing. Bye, What's going on? Direct. That's crazy, huh? The um, the UPS guy. That's crazy. We how you joining in and just trying to change our conversation, man? Oh, you I can't. didn't know what you're talking about. What, what's <laughs> going on? What are you talking? About? <laughs> He's just like, uh, you know, uh, you know, the UPS guy. What we yeah, doing, okay, yeah. Uh, so let me catch you up to speed. Yeah, Sheba is finally converting to career. Nice, nice. Congratulations. And, That's awesome. Seriously. And now she's going to be more broke. Oh, of course. Yeah. You lose money when you go to Korea. Absolutely. Yes. Now you get all the yes. benefits. You know, you got to put in the 401k. Yeah. No, TSP. Excited. TSP. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> TSP. Thrift. Thrift. I'm going to ruin this whole conversation, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys are something I think else out the whole new lingo because now apparently there's a whole new system that I have to learn you know as a CCA it's completely different so um, I guess I gotta you know get to studying figuring it out did you go to that class yet you the conversion class did you go to that conversion class yet oh is there one that comes with it when yeah. you convert okay yes. so no that'll be coming up okay got a yeah. white hair man just you just drive around the neighborhood to the right and put the put the paper in the boxes and then these two guys will teach you everything else. There you go. Shit. We don't we don't we don't mm -mm. I don't know anything about delivering. The most the closest I come to delivering is when I take the students out. You know you guys when you had to do your course? Yes. You guys had to do yeah. a controlled course. So we have mailboxes on our controlled course. And what I like to do is I'll take them into a neighborhood yep. and actually have them touching mailboxes in the neighborhood because then they get the reality of what it's like to have a garbage can sitting next to a sofa, sitting next to a, no to a tree. And they're like, well, how do I get this? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a carrier. You got to figure this out. They're like, really? I'm like, this is a job you chose. I don't know. And yeah, they get upset about that. But um, it's pretty funny to me because that's the job. But it's real life. So they get to experience it. Um, right. And it's, it's cute. But, you know, we over here being nice about it. I got about 25 minutes le left. Um, what's up with your pay, man? When you, <laughs> what's going on? You've been here for a minute, Chooch. How many times have you seen this contract go flip-flop? Let's oh, keep it 100. Oh, my God. I mean... Uh, for, you know, I've been through what, four contracts now in my career. And, you know, you see the timelines on the last three, um, you know, they, they, they take a while, but eventually they come to fruition. Um, this one is just on, this is just unlike anything else. What's happening right now, uh, the trans the, the lack of transparency, um, you know, the fact that everyone's talking about, let's do a full, full on call out let's do a full-on strike if we have to I, i'm sitting there saying as you know a guy who's been here for a minute to say that i understand you know 
like to say why people are jumping ship and not sticking around. I understand the frustration for the table too. Um, I think it's, you know, an atrocity and, you know, the fact that I, you know, have as much time as I am, but yet I feel like I work as much hours as anybody, you know, whether I was new, whether I've been there forever, they are working us to the bone. Uh, I, I haven't seen a drop day uh, in the last two years, unless I block it, like I, unless I block it off with annual leave, you know, mm. and it just keeps going on and on. And, you know, I don't call out. I'm never, I'm never late. I do the job the way it's supposed to be done. I take my lunches. I take my breaks. Um, Sounds like Nick. Sounds like Nick. <laughs> I see. It sounds like yeah. Nick's crazy. Uh, even even I I can't. I don't. I don't want. The, I don't want all that extra time. I just want. I want to be able to see my family once in a while. Besides when I'm on annual, and it just isn't a reality. And it's it's extremely frustrating after almost two decades that it just keeps getting worse and worse. And you know, thankful for the job. I love the job. I love being a carrier. I'm in a great area to be a carrier. Um, it's just hard to watch, like, you know, how people come and go and, you know, that I understand why, you know, there's so much frustration with people coming in new and harassment you got to deal with. You know, I said, I've learned to, to, to just laugh in their faces at this point. I don't let them intimidate me or rush me. It's sad to watch how shitty, uh, you know, management can be to human beings. Like mm. I hear Eric say what he says. I watch everyone's videos and I sit there and just say, you know, it's this, this, this shouldn't be happening after all these years, but it keeps happening. Uh, see, but same thing, you know, I, I see what you say. I see how the people are talked to and treated. I mean, they try that, you know, and it, and it does bother me still to a certain degree, but nowhere near as much as it bothered me in the past. Mm. Okay. All right. I got, I got a couple questions for each of you. Okay. Um, who's, who's going to, uh, who's going to start with the answers? I'll go. Go ahead, shoot. Go. Okay. The first question: How long you been? How long you been with it? That that's not really the question. How long you been at the post office? Seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. Okay. So between you and Sheba, pretty much you've been around the post office long enough, right? Yeah, this is my third contract. I got in there right at the first. This is my third contract. So I got in there right at like two thousand seven, two thousand sixteen, the end of two thousand sixteen. So. Okay. If you could name one, one, just one, what is the biggest challenge you face on a daily basis as a carrier? Dealing with supervisors. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Getting in and out of the office smoothly with no, you know, whatever you want to call it, just no messy, you know, messiness. It's always just fighting, you know, where you are on the list for overtime. Um, what, you know, because they always give the the senior carriers the choice. They, you know, they, <laughs> it's crazy. It's just, I'll keep it simple. Getting out of the office, honestly, that's the, that's the biggest challenge. Once you're on the street, you know, you just have the, the stuff that every carrier deals with. You know, dogs, bees, whatever. But it's the messiness in the, the office, just getting onto the street, you know, honestly. Okay. And everyone, you know, even the workplace, you know, the, the carriers are kind of ruthless to each other too, you know? So it's just messy, you know? So that's my biggest challenge. Okay. About it, Sheba, what's your biggest challenge? Number one, just one. I'm going to say management, and I'm going to be specific on the part that's the most challenging when it comes to management mm. for me. Um, when you call in and you're sick, actually sick, sometimes if you, if you just need a mental day, they will work you two, almost two weeks straight after you come back to punish you for calling in. So it's like I get punished for being sick. So now I have to work like almost two weeks before I get a day off. So you're going to, you're going to take my days off from me now. Now you're going to withhold my days off and it breaks you down to the point where you're about ready to snap on anybody. By the time you reach it to like day 14, you're on, so you're on edge. Now you're cussing people out. Now you're arguing with people because you're tired. You're tired. And that, that's something that I've been dealing with a lot lately. Like, 
I've just had to deal with it. I mean, you get sick, you may need a mental day sometimes. And unfortunately, that's just their tactics. That's their way of punishing you for needing to take time off. Um, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like it's brutal. I didn't sign up for the military. I mean, <laughs> it's very militant. Um, okay. But yeah, I agree. Well, 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 your chooch can't, 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 can't uh, identify because in the 18 years, he hasn't taken one day off. I think there was a half a day he had to go get a tooth pulled. But after that, he still showed up. So he and I. Um... <laughs> Not so, but what I, have to say, I have to salute him for that because there are carriers that's like that. I salute you. I salute you for that. Let, let me, let, let me uh, reiterate. Yeah, I said, you know, there is a sick call or two showing on my uh, lifetime schedule. Uh, but, you know, like I said, there's abuse and then there's that once in a blue moon, you know, and again, I'm that once in a blue moon guy. Um, you know, I said, uh, you know, but she's 100 percent right. They will take it out on you. They will be vindictive. They will make it like, you know, oh, remember that sick call? Yep. Now I got to get you for extra on the street. Now I got to get you for that next couple of drop days. I'll get you in for it. They will, they will use that against you. And it's clear as day. And anybody will tell you that, like, God forbid you get sick. God forbid you don't feel good. God forbid you need that mental day. And you decide to, and this is the thing, like, you're like guilt tripped and you feel like, oh my God, like, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, I can't call out, you know, and it's like, fuck, yeah, there I go. And now I'm going to start cursing. Fuck it. You got to, you got to take that day when you need it. And they can't do anything. Yeah. But we, in our heads, we all think like, yes, they get, they're going to get me. They're going to get me. And they do get you. So, right. You're right. You have your job at the end of the and, day, but they get you for it. So, they make you feel bad for calling out. You know, yeah. that's what they do. That's they so make true. you feel bad when you're like making that call or you're on like blue. They like they have you in your head like you feel bad. Like I usually like banging three times a year. That's what I usually that's like my thing. But I'll do like a double bang. You know what I mean? I make it count when I do it. Yeah. Okay. Because right. right, you, you need it. You need it. You know, we they work us to, to all hell, you know. So I'll give all the secrets away. Um <laughs> how about you, uh Chooch? What is the biggest challenge? you face on a daily basis and i'm assuming yours may be a little different um i'm just assuming uh 18 years there you uh you have some history so certain things don't affect you as much so that's my assumption but i, I could be wrong um yeah no you know management um like they said that management uh um, three for three I, I i've yet to have anybody yeah definitely a three for three i i've had decent ones in the beginning of my career. And ever since then, it's been a very, very down, down, downward spiral uh, because again, never kid, they never carried mail. First, first supervisor, first postmaster carried mail. They, uh, they knew the game. They understood it. They talked to you like human beings uh, that you knew they did what you did, you know? So, you know, now not in, no one, no one in my, my, no one carried mail, uh, barely even was a clerk somehow. You know, they're told that they, they can tell carriers how to do their job, but they can't carry mail and they never did carry mail. Very frustrating. That's that's my biggest challenge every day is to say, uh, how can I possibly show respect to somebody who's just, <laughs> you know, looking to you know, plug up their numbers to get their bonuses and doesn't have a damn clue about what I do every day? Yeah, you guys are brutal. You guys Agreed. are brutal. That's the truth. But um okay so i have a <laughs> I have another question for you and let's see how this one plays out uh, we'll go in uh sheba first <laughs> this might not be a long answer um can you share an example of a successful initiative or change that has been implemented by management that has positively impacted your work as a postal carrier within the last eight years on and off for you? Has anything, I mean, you left, you came back, you left, you came back. 
has anything changed positive for you that management implemented in your opinion? Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm no, sorry. sorry. Really? No. Oh, no. Okay. Huge. How about you, sir? Uh, Eight, 18 years. 18 years. Like I said, uh, the, la the, the last question more or less uh, kind of just funnels into this question to say that, you know, I, I really, really can't can't find one particular like like thing or ideal to point out to say that they have made a carrier's life easier everything is made to make the carrier work harder and seemingly make management do less um you know like sometimes i feel like i'm supervising the room uh and being like you know said ask questions and referring you know carrier you know, duties to management to say, well, this is kind of, this is how, you know, we, you should break up that route here, here, uh, Chooch, here's your, here's the, uh, breakdown sheet here. You know where to separate those routes. So you just draw the lines of who, what piece to give everybody. I'm like, uh, 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 I'm not supposed to do that. That's your job. Now nah, you got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. Okay. Well, 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 okay. We got two negatives. There's definitely got to be a positive. How about it, Mr. D? Derek, tell me something good. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with a positive. I'm actually going to oh. go with a positive. Yeah. I have a pretty good supervisor right now. Um, there's, there's, there's one, yeah, there's one in the, there's always one in the building. You know, I'm out at an SMDC, you know, so there's always one or two you got to deal with that you don't like deal with. But the, my personal supervisor is pretty good, actually. And I have an overburdened route. And, you know, when I was, I I was lucky enough to, to got, I got this route really early in, you know, my career. So I've had it for four years now. Um, it's overburdened, but I've managed to get the time, you know, like, so I basically get an hour every day. I had to work at it a ton and he, me and him have gone back and forth so many goddamn times, but we I've managed to finally get the hour like street time on my route. So give and take, give and take for a couple of years. And then, yeah, like, so I'm going to say, yeah, on this one, like, he, you know, but it takes a supervisor to acknowledge it and it takes a lot of fighting too. So, but yeah, that's one positive for me. So pretty much guaranteed now over time every day. This summer has been like no other summer for us. It's crazy. Usually prime time is all the overtime you can eat up. But so, no one's taking vacations this year. I don't know why. So I guess, I mean, that is for you. And, and yeah. that was what the question was. It was for you. Yeah. And Oh, for the office? Hell no. No, 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 no there's no, no, no positive change. No, I'm just speaking about for you. Um, you did say that you're getting an hour overtime. That's great. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people that don't want it anymore. They just want to be able to work their 40. Hell, the new generation don't even want to work 40. Um, I can imagine then, not working 40, yeah. And then leave. Um, would you be okay with okay, well, not working 40? Screen, no, I, I need to work for, like, I, I, you know, I work pretty much to the 60 well, at least fifty six every week. I couldn't. Damn. I couldn't live on forty. Mm. You couldn't I live my on NS days. I, you know, I couldn't live. I really couldn't live on forty. I couldn't I'm pay glad. for the bills. Yeah, I'm, I'm not glad that you answered it that way, but I'm glad that that was the transition yeah. to the last part of my questioning for right. all of you. Um, and I guess we're going to go up to Chooch, which is in a different category at this moment because. Uh, you clearly, you said 18 years. I have a very good idea what you're, uh, you damn near above me right now. I'm sure you are actually now I'm thinking about it. Um, do you need to work overtime? Uh, at this point, I would love to be able to roll back, you know, to somewhere near 40, but I have never seen it in my 18 years. Anytime, like we get a couple of consecutive drop days, it disappears. <laughs> 
or right back to work in 50 and between 50 and 60. I know I'm going in tomorrow and the schedule, you know, shows three open routes, which means easily hour and a half. Uh, like Derek, I have an overburdened route. I, I for, for the guy who's uh, third in seniority in his office, I have the largest route in the office. Why? Because I, I, you know, I choose to deliver the way I deliver with, but I said, I take my lunches, I take my breaks. Um, the route's grown over the last couple of years with, with new apartments and whatnot being built on the route. And, you know, management, you know, tries to every once in a while say, yeah, you could do your route in eight hours. You're, you're fine. And I'm like, no, I said, um, I'll get back when I get back. You know, I said, you want to come out and try it with me? Go ahead. And they know, but they still have to try and push. They still try to push you to get it done. And, you know, like, and unfortunately, a lot of people that are like under, you know, the, the five year mark fairly new still skip the lunches and the breaks. And that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest weapon you can give management is giving yeah. them 50 minutes back a day because they feel intimidated. They have to get back. And I'm like, guys, they can't do anything about your street time as long as you're moving and delivering the mail and stopping stopping so the scanner shows you're still for nine and a half minutes and then 29 and a half i do it every day with my phone i time it and then it's like boom the rest of the time i'm moving i'm delivering i'm covering my large area that i do and i i like it that way because the the routes that are have lightened up with the with the decrease in mail volume over the years they're all getting two three hours of extra work uh, on top of the on top of the routes uh, my duties most of the time in terms of extra work is staying in the office and case and casing and splitting routes before I go out to the street because my route's so large, they're not going to give me two hours of another route. They'd rather have okay. me in the office. Right. Okay. So here, here's the thing. Do you need the overtime? I mean, I'm sure it puts you at, you're probably if the overtime that you're talking about. You're, you're knocking on six figures a year. Yeah. Uh, Yes, with with the I mean, phew, I, like I said, it's all forced overtime. But yeah, it it does it does get you know to that number, and you're saying to yourself, "Wow, this is great." But at the same time, I have no life. <laughs> right, right. You're sitting here talking to four strangers. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm stuck here with you clowns on a Sunday. Night. Yeah, I mean, and you got the best looking <laughs> one right here. Forget about it. We saved the best for last, Sheba. We know you raking in the dough. Uh -huh. Talk to us. I got about. Seven minutes. We're going to leave it up to you. You want to run it out? Talk to us. Ask some questions. Ask the other carriers because I know nothing. How about you? Do you need money? Um, I have, I have yet to see what my first check is going to look like, but I'm pretty sure considering what it looks like now that I do. I'm positive I do. Um, You know, yeah, definitely. I'm going to be broke in the negative for sure. But I got to decide if I want to go on the ODL list. Okay. But you're going to be, be yeah. you're going to be rich though. You got, you got, you're rich with a career. You're going to be blessed. You have, you have two blessings. One is probably right next to you right now. Oh uh, yeah. He went back upstairs, but yeah, oh, so okay. they're expensive. Kids are expensive. Um, Glad I don't I, have any. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm, um, I'm still deciding if I'm not as far as going on the ODL list or not. Um, I do have side hustles, so I mean, I don't have to if I don't want to, but I don't know yet. Don't know. So you got two seasoned people, right? Right, One is right above you and one's right next to you. This is yeah. your, your world. I mean, you're going to throw some of this on your channel too. Yeah. Um, I do have some questions. I have some questions. I They're in my notebook right now for the two carriers on the video right now. Um, we, we, we can do this over. I mean, I can I can stop it and start it over and let you take control. Good questions too. I have some really good ones. I I, I'm, I want to talk about the lunch breaks. He was speaking about the lunch breaks and about taking the time to actually take them, and that's our weapon for management. But what if management is trying to bribe you out of not taking your lunch breaks? They can't. They can't. You don't get paid for a half hour. You just, because you just. Oh, that's always your comeback. We've we've have carriers who are getting in trouble for deciding the ones that don't take them normally. 
deciding, okay, today I want to take one because they're so used to them not taking one that when they do, they're like, I know you can do it. I know you can finish this. I know you could take this pivot. Um, you don't never take your lunch. So they're like trying to tell them, you don't never take your lunch. So take this pivot and, you know, skip it like you normally do. And then when you like, no, and you put your foot down, now they got an attitude and they're aggressive about it. Mm. Um, so, um, I'm going to say the scan, this is the one time where you can use a scanner to your advantage and say, look at my scanner and look at how I don't stop moving all day. I'm going to mm -hmm. start taking my lunches. I get docked to half hour of my pay every, every day I'm taking my lunch. You know, they always use a scanner against you, use a scanner against them. Mm -hmm. They say, look at my scanner. It doesn't stop moving. And now you're going to see it stop moving for 30 minutes every day. Um, the, yeah, the the idea that um, some offices offer a no lunch like you know system and say you say you sign something at the beginning of the week that says I'm going to go through with no lunch. They don't do that at my station. You are they are taking that 50 minutes off no matter what. You have to take a lunch break, and yet there's people that still aren't taking the lunch and the breaks. And I'm like, this is what may, and then you see this piece of paper hung up every day, right by the clock, you know, or right by where the time clock used to be that shows everybody's times, uh, actual office, estimated office, dowest numbers. And I'm seeing like people finish routes in like five and a half, like their whole day, an eight hour route that's estimated for eight hours and five and a half, six hours, six hours and 20 minutes. I'm like, you can't they be post that. They post those numbers. Yes. Wow. Yes. My Every office day. doesn't do that. Wow. Every day. Every day on the wall. And it's an intimidation thing. But yeah. I'm like, okay, I see I see me showing you know, right on the right on eight or over eight every day consistently mm -hmm. because the route the route is what it is. And you take the you take that fifty minutes. You have to. And I'm like, wow, I'm seeing like I'm going down the list of and it's a very small station. It's fifteen routes. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing under, 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 and that cumulative time, you know, that when it, when that's under the total estimated time or the you know, estimated time management's winning, you know, and it's like, I understand the volume lightened up on certain days, it's going to be lighter. You're going to be a little bit under, but I'm, I mean, when I saw like, you know, times that are showing five and a half hours, like total, that's, that's no good. No, that's no good. Yeah, yeah. That's bad. So, Chiba, um, I got two minutes left. Okay. Um, I can restart a new meeting if, and I can make you the the host of this if you'd like, because you have two seasoned people and they're definitely um, full of knowledge. And I'm sure that Derek would like to learn how to how to have hair as beautiful as yours. Oh, I, I have guess. no hair. God, I would. Are you serious? I have no hair. Oh, gosh. I keep mine covered up because it's got a little bit. Left. I got a little bit left. Oh, you're just gonna rub it in, huh? Oh, you rub man. it in. Come <laughs> on, give me a break. That's not fair. Yeah, well, it's not I fair when I see a head of hair like that. I married a hairdresser. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> yeah. I, def I definitely have a lot of. I mean, it's it's quite a bit. I have it. I wrote it down last night. Um, but. I mean, I, it's up to you if you want to or not. I mean, we can. It's up to you. This is your world, squirrel. You got, you got, you got two that are willing and able. And um, I'm probably, I'm gonna send you obviously the video. This is not. I'm not gonna put this part of it just so you know. Um, and I'm gonna send Derek the video as well because he's not gonna get the same type of viewers that you get. Just so you know. Right. Um, you're gonna get a lot of thirsty. <laughs> I, don't do, I don't do YouTube. I'm just I'm just here for the ride. But uh, I would love to be able to stick with you and, and answer anything you need me to. Please. Yeah, no problem. Definitely. Yes. It's up no to problem. you, young lady. I do have a, I do have some uh, someone coming at night to drop off. Remember, I told you I have a, I have a, well, I order to be dropped off here in a few minutes. Um, can we do this again tomorrow? Can we Can we pick off where we can pick up where we left off at? And and you know, do the do the questions then, or I don't know. 